Is this thing on? Oh, yes, it is. I don't have to get super close. Good morning. How's everybody? Good. See folks still setting up. It's good to see everybody here. I'm glad we're starting at 9. I can't imagine how hot it would be at 1030 if we were still here. So I like the 9 o'clock start. Um, it's good to see everybody out. Um, if you haven't already, I know sometimes I forget. We've got the communion cups up here, so go ahead and use this time now to come and get those if you, if you haven't gotten them already. Uh, we want to welcome everybody out, and we're just glad that you're here for our service today. Glad that we can continue to do this, and that even though it's a little warm, we're able to be together and be here. So that's great, and, and I don't think we've been rained out yet, so that's awesome. Uh, just the one announcement that I know is just a thanks from Jim Wilson. Some of us went and sang some hymns to him on his birthday last Sunday, and he just wanted to say... Uh, Thank you to everybody. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's all the announcements we have. If you would, let's uh, uh, join me in a word of prayer as we begin our service today. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning and we are so thankful for this day that you've given us, this opportunity we have to be with each other, to uh, sing praises with each other to you, to uplift one another, to study your word and um, just have this opportunity to take a break from the world and come together and, and re-energize ourselves spiritually. Father, we pray that you be with us as we go through this service and that uh, and that it, it'll be uplifting to us and, and pleasing to you. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Morning. Our first song today will be We Praise Thee, O God. It's number four in the text in the songbook. I want to say textbook. <laughs> songbook. We praise thee, O God. We'll sing this song and then we'll be led in prayer by Aaron Cooper. We praise thee, O God, for thy son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. We praise thee, O God, for thy spirit of light, who has shown us our Savior and scattered our night. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. All glory and praise to the Lamb that was slain, who has borne all our sins and has cleansed every stain. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. All glory and praise to the God of all grace, who has bought us and sought us and guided us our ways. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Revive us again. Fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Good 
bow with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you this beautiful Sunday morning, just appreciating your, your weather that you have blessed us with all these weeks, and and just uh, we just thank you for all your many blessings, and, and even in this time where we have so many things that are that are trying to drag us down, Lord, and we can come out here and still praise you and and uh, enjoy your creation. Lord, be with Mark today that as he delivers the message, and just help us to absorb that information and and uh, and, and live and live the information that he gives us and the blessings of Christ. Just watch over us and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. song before communion this morning will be Lamb of God. Lamb of God. I'm not sure it's in the song book. should be very familiar to you. Lamb of God. Your only Son, no sin to hide, but you have sent Him from your side to walk upon this guilty side. And to become the Lamb of God. O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. O wash me in His precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Your gift of love they crucified. They laughed and scorned him as he died. The humble king they named a fraud and sacrificed the Lamb of God. O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. Oh, wash me in His precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. I was so lost, I should have died. But you have brought me to your side To be led by your staff and rod And to be called a Lamb of God O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God I love the Holy Lamb of God. Oh, wash me in His precious blood till I am just a Lamb of God. You know, the events that are going on in our area, in our county, our state, our country, and our world, they all seem pretty important right now. But you know, in a hundred years, what we are going through will just be but a spot in history. In 200 years, nobody will remember what's going on here. What we are going through now is similar to what happened in 1918, a little over a hundred years ago. Before this current health crisis, had you ever heard of the pandemic of 1918? Probably not. It just shows how things, how quick things can be forgotten. But on the other hand, it's been 2000, nearly 2,000 years, and right now we're still talking about Jesus the Christ. What he means to us, and this is why we're here this morning. It's why we're assembled. 
to learn more about him, to worship him, to honor him and praise him. This time right now has been set aside in our worship that we might remember just what it is that Jesus did for us. To be a, this is a reminder of the sacrifice he made, the sacrifice of his body, his blood, and ultimately his life. In Luke chapter 22 and verse 19 we read, and he took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us give thanks for the bread. Our Heavenly Father, at this time, we're thankful that we can set aside a time to remember the sacrifice you made, the giving of your body, the body that was beaten and nailed to a cross to purchase our pardon. And we thank you for that. And at this time, as we partake of this bread, we remember that body that was given for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 25 we read, In the same way he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Again, let us go to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus, for the shedding of his blood as he was beaten, the blood that poured from his body hanging on the cross. We're thankful that we have this cup to represent that sacrifice, that we can remember this day what Jesus did for our behalf, what should have been us, but was him, to purchase our redemption. Thank you for this opportunity. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Again, at this time, it's usually custom, our custom that we would mention the offering. And I'd just like to have, a, have another prayer just to thank God for what we have. Heavenly Father, we again, we thank you for this time we have to come here and worship you this morning. We're thankful for the blessings that we enjoy in this life. We're thankful for the income that we have, the livelihood that we enjoy, and we pray that we have purposed in our heart to return a proper portion unto you. And thank you for all you have given us. We are truly a blessed people. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The song before the lesson this morning will be 576. There's a fountain free. 576. There's a fountain free, tis for you and me. Let us haste, so oh, haste to its brink. Tis a fountain of <clears throat> love from the source above, and he bids us all freely drink. Will you come to the fountain free? Will you come? Tis for you and me, thirsty soul. Hear the welcome call. Tis a fountain open for all. There's a living stream with a crystal gleam. From the throne of life now it flows. While the waters roll at the weary soul, hear the call that forth freely goes. Will you come to the fountain? <clears throat> Will you come? Tis for you and me, thirsty soul. Hear the welcome call. Tis a fountain 
open for all. There's a rock that's cleft and no soul is left that may not its pure waters share. Tis for you and me and its stream I see. Let us hasten joyfully there. Will you come to the fountain free? Will you come? You and me, thirsty soul, hear the welcome call. Tis a fountain open for all.